this channel may be for you if you are someone who cares deeply for the earth and the plants upon it, who, f who view plants as their own sentient beings and wish to facilitate deeper connections and relationships with them. Hello, it's Midgard Mother. My name is Taylor. I'm the creative, the mystic, the intuitive behind Midgard Mother. And I'm switching up this platform a little bit. I'm still going to be sharing birth content, womb content, really helping women live in this wise human tradition. There is so much wisdom we have to gain from living in this way that I think women are really hungry for. It helps us not only slow down, but live in a really intentional, simple, meaningful life. Through this channel, I really hope to on ways we can begin to work together with these plants and these earth energies to further facilitate our own evolution and the evolution of the planet. It is through the wise woman tradition that we're able to really combine these two practices of living in this feminine body and working together with these earth intelligences. To me, they are so intrinsically connected and it's a beautiful relationship that we're able to facilitate with really simple practices. I am here swarmed by the bugs sharing this message with you today because it is so heavy on my heart. We're in the Driftless region right now of Wisconsin. It's just a beautiful, beautiful part of the state. And I was just moved to tears driving through the valleys and just thinking that many people would drive through here and look at the amount of resources to take advantage of and how for centuries that was our perspective on the world is that the earth was our ours for the taking that these resources were for us and they are for us just in a different way than i think we've been led to believe these are for us in a way that we are meant to work with them i keep looking down here i have some queen anne's lace and some some red clover um one right here i think i'll put in my tea later yarrow sitting not too far away all of these plants, which to me are just very feminine in their nature and have so much to learn. We can learn how to connect with these nature intelligences. If you want to learn the five easy steps to connect with nature intelligences, please see my last video. It goes into detail in depth on how to use this practice to connect with the nature intelligences and why it's so important at this time. But I'm shifting focus a little bit on this channel to include more of these earth practices that I've been leading myself and my family through for almost 10 years now. We've been living in this very earth-centric way. Uh, we've even really separated ourselves from a lot of the common holidays and reclaimed some earth-based celebrations. For us, it's really made it's made, for us, it's made such a big difference in how we feel grounded in our family rhythm and the rhythm of the seasons. It's helped us to be more intentional with our actions and our purchases and the things we're bringing into our home. But more than that, it's helped us to connect as a family and make some really meaningful relationships, really meaningful gifts, activities, traditions, practices, and I'm so excited to share them with you. I'm so excited to share them with you. If you're interested in any of this in learning how to lead your family as a wise woman connected with the earth and rooted deeply into the womb of the earth, this channel is for you. I'm so excited for this new direction and to see where that's going to go. Thank you for being here.